If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got the Autumn Blast promo in the game, guys. Super excited to go over it. New currency has been added to Mutt. Autumn Blast currency, Fallen Leaves, as you guys do know. New currencies are always good, and they're bad, right? Because the new currency is going to give us another way to play. But typically, a new currency kind of messes with the market, and you kind of got to work around that. And certain cards only sell back for certain things, change the price of training. But either way, it's, it's fun. It's nice to be implemented. So not complaining about it. Just letting you guys know if people are asking a lot of market questions, typically a currency does mess with the way things will be working out for the next few days, week, weeks, depending on how long everything lasts. We did get it on the 16th, though. So more than likely, guys, we will have, we will have promo content all the way up until the 31st, considering we do have the Black Friday Blitz as well that will probably start at some point i don't know exactly what date they're gonna go with this year probably have some thanksgiving day content so we're gonna have some stuff and we do specifically have thanksgiving day contest with the players as you guys saw with the players who do upgrade so remember that's going to be our thanksgiving day content plus maybe an ltt or something else now moving on from that guys before we get into today's video if you're into the channel turn on the snowy bell comment down below poodle squad and like the video for a chance to be shouted out today's poodle squad shout out goes to tyler bruno shout out to you man for being part of the poodle squad thank you so much for showing support each and every video if you guys need to channel subscribe guys let's keep growing let's keep grinding up on so course the next gen madden hopefully we get another boom during then and we can go over some new level stuff hopefully but guys moving on from that let's get into all this stuff that i want to go over Autumn blast welcome pack uh, of course you know the, you know the welcome packs they're typically not that great the other blast welcome packs are decent at best they're going to be just a card you could probably sell for some currency which i believe this Tony Romo that you get out of this pack does sell for approximately 85 leaves, which I'll show you guys in just a second. Check out the Autumn Blast missions to find out what else there is to do and how to collect the lead Autumn Blast players for your team. Now, there's the 81 Tony Romo, like I said, he goes for 85 total of leaves. Um, you're probably better off selling unless you have an extreme budget team and you're able to start him somewhere. Otherwise, you're probably better off going on the selling route. Get these solos, Autumn Blast, you got Main Mission, Autumn Odyssey, Autumn Blast, Master Tony Romo. This is the solo, but these are the missions about the solo. So play the Burnt Turkey Challenge to earn an elite Autumn All-Star player. Though, don't get squashed by the hilarious puns. Depending on this player's performance on Thanksgiving Day, his, edit, his item stats might increase. His mission ends at 10 a.m. on November 26th. So, guys, the burnt challenges you want to be playing because the all-star player are the players that are 91 overalls, but depending on how they play, they can go up to 92 or 93 overall, which is super important. Could make you guys a good amount of coins as well as just be very good for your team. So, make sure you are playing these. It is free. So, so far, we have a free 91 overall that has the potential to be 93 overall. So, of course, that is super great. Um, definitely be playing those you have until November 26th. That gives you approximately 10 days from right now to get that done. So make sure you guys are grinding those out. Here we go. Autumn Blast main mission. Earn Fallen Leaves through Milestone Rewards to earn a 91 Autumn All-Star. So earn 70, 70 stars in the Burnt Turkey Challenges to earn a random 91 overall All-Star nap for your ultimate team. Depending on his performance on Thanksgiving Day, he can automatically upgrade as high as 80, 93 overall. So you only get one random one. Now guys, I will be making a video going over later the best one to choose. Now that's not going to be specifically about the pack it's going to be more so there is a, a set you can do a falling leaf so get another one so i don't know if it's random or you could pick but either way i'm gonna go over the best ones so you guys maybe sell or pick up accordingly so i'm gonna go over that so you guys do have an idea of which ones i think are the best ones that could probably hit so that's pretty good there with the autumn odyssey play these challenges to earn an autumn ace player now guys the autumn ace player is the same thing as last year when we got the 76 like harvest uh players that were like baby players you have to upgrade them all the way up to their 90 overalls so this year we have Autumn Aces. So we have, as you see on the screen, we got Allen Robinson, Pat Pete, Fletcher Cox, and Brandon Scherf. So if you play these in the challenges, you travel around the country to collect food items from his family, feed the food to your Autumn Ace, put into upgrade path to upgrade him from an 80 to a 90 overall. So you get a free 90 overall, it appears like, and you also get a free 91. Now I don't know if the challenges give you exactly enough to do it. Then we got uh, Tony Romo as our master, of course. Now guys, this is a two-part promo. So remember, this isn't this is only our first master and our first set of players. We'll be getting an entirely another part. Hopefully, that is a whole other set and you know here and everything, versus just some small stuff. Because they have done that in the past. They say like three or four parts of a promo, but truly really the first one is a really expansive one, and the other ones aren't. I mean, most feared was good. It was really like one, 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 one each each time, so that was good. But you get this by exchanging the 92 overall autumn aces like the Pat Pete, the Fletcher Cox, the Sheriff, and the Robinson. The solos, the autumn odyssey, earn an 80 overall. We read this already. So the thing is, I hope they give you enough food here to actually go ahead and do that. Of course, if it's a two-part thing, it'll take a bit longer to get everything. Oh, buddy, this is just one of the solos. Um, you can earn, you can do this to upgrade the fast, uh, the feast food collectibles. You earn the other sequences. So I, I hope there's enough. Like I said, the pack upgradable Ace Fantasy Pack. You see 80 overall Patrick Peterson, Fletcher Cox, Sheriff, and all the way on the left is going to be Allen Robinson. Now 
I'm gonna make a video, guys, also after this video, going over the best ones to take. I think I might combine these into two. I'm not sure if I'll combine this into one video or make it into two videos. I'm still deciding on that aspect. But either way, definitely, definitely um, gonna be interesting to see who is the best one out of the four. For the stats, guys, I'm gonna show you guys them here because, of course, uh, they're not gonna be upgraded as of today. You gotta get them, you gotta upgrade them. So the stats should be right here. Fletcher Cox, 75 speed, 81 Excel, 89 strike, 92 tackle, 92 play rank, 89 block shed, 93 power move, 77 finesse move. The card looks good. The card does look good. Now, thing is, the block shed, I wish it was a bit higher. Now, of course, you could probably power these cards up, I'd assume. I hope. So if you can, Fletcher Cox will be one of the better defensive tackles in the game. Next, we got Brandon Scherf, 92 overall right guard for the Redskins, 88 strength, 92 awareness, 90 pass block, 90 pass block power. 88 pass block finesse, 92 run block, 90 run block power. If you power them up and put on, like, let's say zone run or go deep or whatever gets that pass block up, you're going to have an all threshold right guard. So, again, so far, two good cards you can use. Now we got Allen Robinson, 88 speed, 91 jumping, 92 catching, 90 catching traffic, 91 spec, 90 short run running, 88 medium, and 87 deep. This card's horrible. His medium and deep, you can only pick one. So, you probably want to go medium because you're not going to be sending him deep too much. So, he can't go on deep routes. He's going to be too slow. If they man him up on, like, the meta defense, he's not going to be able to outrun a with the slant. The card's horrible. Stay away from this Allen Robinson card by any means necessary. And then we got Patrick Peterson, which is one of the most studied for. 92 overall cornerback for the Arizona Cardinals. 91 speed, 91 excel, 91 agility. 92 jumping, 88 play, reckon him to man, 90 zone, 88 press. So, you power him up and chem him up, guys. He will have, like, a 93, 94 press. Have an above 90 play, rec. Have a 90, like you can probably get his man up to like a 97, 98, and his own up to like a 95, 96. This card all around is one of the best cornerbacks in the game for free, right? Like compared to maybe the meta cornerbacks, he's not the best, but for free guys, he's gonna be probably your best option there. Definitely, definitely really like the Patrick Peterson. I will make a ranking video on this later though, going over who, why, and for what team. For the 91 overall Thanksgiving Day cards, now these are the cards that do upgrade. So we got Eric Ebron. The stats aren't so important, it's more about the stats that we care about that can upgrade, right? So for Eric Ebron, he needs four receptions and 70 receiving yards. So for him, why would a 93 overall be important for him? Because he would probably get to an 89 speed with above 90 catching all around and probably the route running thresholds. He'll probably he'll definitely get the short and the medium will probably short by one, but you can probably power him up and probably put play fake on him. So if Eric Ebron does get the 93, he's probably going to be the best tight end in the game because he'll be at the fastest tight end. He'll be like uh, Vernon Davis with the route running threshold. So Eric Ebron's super, super good. Then we got Jalen Smith, middle linebacker for the Cowboys. Now, why does it matter if he gets eight total tackles and one sack? That's going to be kind of hard, but it's not like, I think the sack will be harder. It's just a matter if they send it, you know, if the game, game scheme says that, you know, send linebackers today, or if, you know, he's in a, they're running a lot, he's in a tackle situation. But overall, let's see, he's got 87 speed. So that can go up to an 89, which is super good. His Excel will be above 90, his tackle will be above 90, his play record will be well above 90. His block should, should reach the 80s, and his hit power will be like 93, 94, and his zone will get to 90. So he'll be an 89 speed, 90 zone, 94 hit power uh, middle linebacker. So that's super solid. Now we got Kendall Fuller. One pass defender, one interception. I feel like that's easier because a pass defender, more than likely, he will get. It's going to be the interception that's harder. But again, sometimes it's just like higher ceiling versus low, you know, higher floor. You want a guy that you know will probably get the 92 or a guy that is a long shot. If he gets 93, like he's insane. Kendall Fuller, though, if he does get this, he already has the zone and man threshold, so really all he's really worried about here is just going to be increasing speed, probably. So if he gets to 93, oh my god, guys, he could be really good at free safety. If he gets to, if he gets to 93, he could end up with a 94 speed powered up. 94 speed powered up with like a 98 zone coverage, maybe even higher. He could end up with like a 99 zone and 99 man, potentially. If he gets to 93, right, his zone can get up to like a 92, and then powered up 99, I mean 93, sorry, and then chemed up with lockdown times 5. He can get that up to 98. So you have a 99 man, 99, uh, 99 man, 98 zone, probably like 97, 98 play rec, and he could probably get to a 93 speed or 94 speed, right? Depending on how much they upgrade everything. But if that's the case, guys, he's gonna be one of the best free safeties in the game. Then we got the Sean Watson, 91 overall quarterback. Now we did predict a lot of these guys. We predicted a lot of these cards. So shout out to us on that one. 275 passing yards, four total touchdowns. I feel like quarterbacks usually are the safest bets. I don't know if. See, four total touchdowns, since that does include rushing touchdowns, I do feel more confident. I'm, again, I'm going to check out the matchups in the video when I go over who I think will get what. 275 passing yards is doable. I will go over how much they've done this stuff before in the regular season. But let's see. If he gets this upgrade, he will have the deep accuracy threshold um, because, of course, go deep. He'll get the medium threshold, which is good. So, powder can come up regardless, guys. If he gets this, he'll probably end up with like a 94 short, 93 short. He'll end up with like a 90 to 91 mid and a 90 deep uh, plus with go deep. 
and then his speed will probably end up getting like an 89. So Sean Watson's going to be a really good quarterback, guys. And because of that, if he gets the plus two, plus the plus one on a power up, he will get all the way up to I believe it is a 90, what like a 93, 94 throw power. Plus that he can end up with a 95 plus like a 94 plus throw power. He can end up with an 88 to 89 speed as well as all threshold guys. This could be the best quarterback in the game. And he's an improviser. I don't know how important that's going to be, you know, in terms of where we end up ranking him, but he's looking really good. And we got Desmond Trufant, three tackles, one interception. Again, that seems a, a little bit more realistic. The three tackles, at least the interception, you know, that's just like interceptions are like they're, they're luck, right? Because then like not that it doesn't require skill, but the whole game, they might not throw to Desmond Trufant or the quarterback might not, might overthrow when there isn't going to be an interception possibility, or you can get mossed by the cornerback, uh, the wide receiver. So, a lot can go wrong, you know, depending on interception. It's just, and they don't throw to your side that often, let's just say. So it could be tougher, but 90 speed, 91 excel, 91 agility, 89 jumping, 88 play rec, 86 man, 90 zone, 80 press. So he's the kind of guy that's going to need this. If he gets the plus two and he gets powered up to 94, he will end up with about a 93 speed, which is amazing. He'll end up with a 90 man and above 90 zone and above 90 press, above 90 play rec. So for him to be a really good cornerback, now guys, that's why I like almost all these cards seem like they could be meta cards if they do get their 93. So that's kind of the point here. If they're 91, they're good cards. If they're 92, they're great cards. If they get their 93, they're meta cards. And that's kind of what I like, that they didn't make any of these cards to where even with a 93, you're like, what's the point? They seem like they're all going to be meta cards regardless. Then we got Marquise Brown, 91 overall wide receiver for the Ravens. Guys, again, if he hits, his 93 is a meta card. 93 overall Marquise. I don't believe he could be powered up yet, but 93 overall Marquise. If he gets his 95, guys, his 95 speed, which is 93, he's going to be the fastest wide receiver in the game. And remember, at a ninth row overall, he'll have the short, medium, and deep route running threshold and spectacular, spectacular catch and catching threshold. And he put play fake on him, guys. He will have all the catching thresholds, all the route running thresholds, 95 speed. He will be the best, best, best wide receiver in Madden. He needs 60 receiving yards and a touchdown, guys. For Marquise Brown, what I like about him is that that's him just getting one catch. Like, he could literally take the top off the defense on a, on a bomb and get that. Again, it comes down to matchups who they're playing but i do like the odds for this one we have the autumn blast uh some sets you know granny's recipe guys you if you collect all six of the recipes from the challenges you get a nat autumn bass player it could be anyone from an 80 to a 92 overall more than likely it's gonna be an 80 but take your chances on that one this set guys my favorite set always the tony romo set exchange 92 overall alan robinson brandon sure fletch cox patrick peterson for a 94 overall tony romo but in this one guys you get his power up and you get all four back this year it's been always two like you could pick two pat pete and brandon fletcher cox and pat pete brandon and pat pete but this time you can get oh you get all four back so that's gonna be very different than the way we do our math on these sets but that does make it a lot more intriguing to get Roma. This is the automated fantasy pack guys so if you do uh if you don't want to you know if you didn't go ahead and pick them up and buy them you can use your fallen leaves if you have them which is the return of the cornucopia pack i'm so excited it contains one uh 189 plus player from the 50 autumn blast team of the week legends most of your redux team standouts heavyweights veterans flashbacks or rising stars and if you do want to see a cornucopia pack opening comment down below and let me know if we get over like 200 likes, I will open up Cornucopia packs. So just comment down below, like the video, and let me know if you guys want to see one. Guys, these packs back in the old Madden day were the most glitchy packs in Madden. They were like crazy. These packs were like the craziest packs ever. Like you couldn't, you had to be like rich in Madden to even afford these packs. But of course, they're more affordable nowadays. Guys, and finally, the Autumn All-Star pack. You can only earn these Autumn All-Stars from the free solo or from this way. Now, are they auctionable? I'm not sure. If they're not, you're going to have to do this. If they are, then you can go ahead and just pick them up. But either way, that Vanish pack costs 5350 autumn uh, leaves so go ahead you know adjust accordingly and the guys are ltd for the day who isn't up on the block is going to be harrison smith 93 overall strong safety for the minnesota vikings 88 speed 91 tackle 89 attack sorry 89 88 speed 91 excel 89 tackle 92 play rec 93 pursuit 87 man coverage 93 zone 92 hit power power from chemda will have the man threshold will have 99 zone will only have 89 speed again i probably the thing is if it's like if you want to go with mccordy or you want to go one of those guys they are going to be uh, faster. If you're willing to take the speed hit, you get the hit power. But again, I think he's way too slow. Unless, unless, unless you're putting him in the box. He could be an awesome linebacker at 89 speed with that hit power, that zone, and that man, and that pursuit in the box. Could be crazy as a run support with Enforcer. But again, that's up to you guys. That is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy the Autumn Blast promo today. Make sure you enjoy it, guys. I will be posting my other videos sometime later today. I will be ranking the cards. Let me know down below what you guys think. If you guys want to see the Cornucopia pack opening, 200 likes in the video. Comment down below. Let me know you want to see it. That's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.